Hey everyone, Melissa Wick here. This is a full yoga flow practice. We are emphasizing uh, the lower body because we are working on a grounded state. So we are building the capacity to find uh, more stability and to hold space for ourselves, building more resilience. We'll be creating an intention in the beginning of class, working through finding our focus and setting ourselves up for meditation to tap into this part of ourselves that is always constant and which is our essence and our source. Amidst all of these changes that happen in this life, whether we look inside or whether we look outside, we're always amidst these changes and transitions. So we're cultivating to find this part of ourselves that is always constant. And so we can move in this world from that place so we can find more ease, more calm, more resilience. Our bounce back factor is that much stronger and we can enjoy life more. So get into something comfortable and let's get started. Before we get started, if you have two blocks as a tool, place them at the top of your mat and let's begin on our backs with our knees bent and our feet as wide as the mat, or roughly like that, and let your knees fall in to touch. Adjust so your spine is nice and long. Maybe gently wiggle your shoulders in. Have your palms facing up. Closing your eyes. And take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time like that, inhale in. Feel your whole body relax as you exhale out. Gently close the lips and give yourself permission to fully land on your mat and into your body and into the natural rhythm of your breath. Relax the energy behind your eyes and find your inner eyesight and take an internal body scan from the top of your head all the way down through your shoulders, your arms, your torso, your hips and your legs and your feet. Just imagine yourself melting into the ground. Inviting in slow, smooth, even breaths in and out through the nostrils. And we'll start to breathe together here, in and out through the nose. So let all the air out. Inhale in for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, and return back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Noticing any shifts, if there are any. Moving into the seat of the observer the witness. So allowing any thoughts to pass, come and go as you watch them come and go.
Maybe here you'd like to set an intention for your practice. It doesn't need to be grand, just allow it to be sincere. And we'll keep this grounded state and we'll slowly start to release the knees apart and bring your feet hip width distance apart with your heels close to your glutes. Flip your palms to face down closer to your body and we'll prepare to open up with some bridges. So we're gonna press down with the feet into the earth, gentle squeeze of the glutes, curl the tailbone forward as you inhale, push and lift the hips up as you breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna lengthen lower down, upper back, mid back, low back. Again, inhale, engage and lift. Both sides of the legs of the weight are even. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Starting to cultivate the breath. Exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, lift. Full breath per movement. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, you're gonna lower halfway down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, lift. Now hold here, but don't hold the breath. Make sure the weight is even on both sides of the legs. And start to make the breath louder than your thoughts. Smooth out any involuntary movements, holding space for yourself, building and expanding your capacity for when it feels a little uncomfortable, allowing your thoughts to come and go. As you're breathing in, let the breath travel up into the chest, into the heart, and as you exhale, let it travel down all the way through the belly into the root. Just a couple more breaths. Make sure you're, there's a gentle engagement of the glutes. When your next exhale arrives, you're gonna lower down slowly, upper back, mid back, low back, and release. Just give your legs a sway from side to side. Good. Come to center and bring both knees in toward your chest. Take your hands behind the backs of the knees. We'll start to rock and roll gently up and down. The next time you're forward, cross your ankles, lift your root to your pelvic floor, take your hands forward, and then slide yourself back a bit. We'll meet in tabletop position. So your wrists are underneath the shoulders, the knees are hip width distance, and we'll invite in a few cat cows to open up into the spine. On the inhale, we'll release the belly, tilt the pelvis, let your chest come forward, lift the chin. Exhale, you'll round chin to chest, tailbone forward, push the floor away. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round and curl. Feel the shoulder blades peel away. Inhale, lift forward. Exhale, round, curl. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Come to neutral as you inhale, neutral table. Draw the navel to the back of the spine. Notice if you're dumping your weight in your shoulders, push the floor gently, dome the upper back. Weight even on both sides, and extend your right leg behind you, right foot is flexed, hips closed, keep the belly lifted. 
Inhale, lengthening the sternum forward. It's subtle. Exhale, knee to your nose, round curl in. Inhale, right leg extends back. Exhale, round curl in. Inhale back. This time you're going to exhale and step the right foot through between the hands. You can assist with your hands. Find your foundation when you feel stable. Low lunge, arms reach up. Tailbone lengthening down. Pubic bone toward you, right hip lowers. Now we're going to sink our breath to movement. On the inhale, we'll prepare here. On the exhale, half split. Extend your right leg, toes toward the face. So back and forth like that a few times. Inhale, bend the right knee, arms lift. Exhale, half split. Inhale, lift. Exhale, half split. And this time we'll hold. If you have blocks, be great to grab them underneath your hands. Find this dragging action of your right heel. If you want to refine, if you notice your hips sway out to the left, try to draw the hips behind the leg. Soften the shoulders, sternum gently reaches forward, back of the neck long. Okay, and then we'll bend the right knee, blocks back out of the way. You're going to tuck the left toes under, feel a gentle stretch in your toes, reach the arms up, low lunge as you breathe in. Exhale, hands come through to airplane torso forward. You're going to engage your back leg and then magnetize your inner thighs. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, left knee kisses the ground, ground down through your right heel. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands come through, torso forward, airplane. Engage the triceps, back of the neck long. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, left knee kisses the ground. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands swim through, energy reaching through the fingers. Shoulder blades engaged. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, left knee kisses the ground. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, both hands come down to frame your right foot. Left hand stays down, right arm opens up for a twist. Draw the left shoulder down, gentle engagement of the shoulders as your chest opens. This is option one. Option two, come to the outer edge of your left foot, right toes out to the side, heel toe your right foot down a couple inches. Lifting the hips, option three, side plank. Lift the left side body. And then on the exhale, we'll come to center plank from wherever you are. Heels, hips, shoulders, head in one line. Draw the navel in. Gentle puffing of the upper back. Slight curl of the tailbone forward. Tap into your breath. There is power in your breath. On your next exhale, just shift back to downward dog. Good. Lift the heels. Gently drop the knees down. Come back to your table. Readjust. Stabilize. Weight even on both sides. Extend your left leg behind you. Hips closed. Draw the belly in. Inhale. Prepare. Exhale, knee to your nose, round curl in. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, back. Exhale, step through between the hips. And then when you're ready, low lunge. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. Inhale. Exhale, half split. Ride the wave of your breath. Bend your left knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, lift. Exhale, half split. This time we hold, maybe grab your blocks. Soften the shoulders. 
I like to reach my sit bones to the back and find lift through the sternum and the crown. Good, we'll bend the left knee, shift it forward, blocks in front. You're gonna tuck your right toes under, feel that stretch. So magnetize the inner thighs. So what I mean is left heel draws back, right knee forward. That'll help with stabilizing. Reach the arms up, low lunge, breathe in. As you exhale, hands swim through, torso forward, reach through the fingers, engage the back leg, ground down through your left heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee kisses the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swim through airplane arms. Gentle engagement of the shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right knee kisses the ground. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swim through. Inhale, reach up. And this time we'll take the hands down, frame the left foot, right palm stays down, twist, left arm opens up. This is option one. Option two, outer edge of your right foot, left toes fan out, heel toe that foot down a few inches, lifting the hips. Option three, side plank. Try not to roll that hip back if you're in side plank. Keep them stacked. And wherever you are, we'll come to center plank. On the exhale, you can bring the knees down if you'd like. Come all the way to your belly, point your toes. Fingertips wide and slightly forward. Three rolling cobras. Pubic bone down, tops of the feet stay down. Inhale, upper back leads. Your head is last to roll up. Softening the shoulders. Exhale, belly, chest, chin, forehead. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll. Exhale, lower down. Take your hands by your upper chest. Tuck your toes underneath. When you inhale, you'll push the floor down. Lift in the belly through table or cobra. And then exhale back. Down dog, now here enjoy your downward dog. Your sit bones are reaching up and back. You're wrapping the upper arms around and in, broaden the upper back, magnetize the inner forearms. Maybe you start by bending the knees a lot, finding length in the spine and holding space here for yourself. Tap into the power of your breath. To deepen your practice, find a point to focus on with your eyes between the legs, perhaps the back of the room, or something that's not moving. You're gonna bend the knees and look between the hands, and then walk or step to the top of your mat, fold, feet hip width distance. Inhale, halfway lift, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take one cycle of breath. Inhale, arms lift up. Side stretch, exhale, right hand down, arch up and over to the right. Inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, left hand down, arch over to the left. Both arms reach up, breathe in, look to your palms. Exhale, lead with the heart all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, high plank. Now, if you're ready for chaturanga to up dog and that is in your practice, you're welcome to move into that. Otherwise, exhale all the way down to your belly. Point your toes. 
inhale cobra or upward facing exhale downward facing take about five breaths here Round down through all ten knuckles. Bend your knees, look between your hands, and then walk or step to the top of your mat, fold. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands down by your side. Inhale, chair pose, sit back in your chair. Draw the shin bones back, see if you can lift the toes and lower them down. Firm the outer ankles so the outer thighs are engaged. Engage the glutes, draw the belly in. And then find this opening in the upper back here. Inhale. Exhale, knees stay bent, chest to the thighs, fingertips just graze the ground. Legs are strong. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chest to thighs, fingers down. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chest down. I know it's a little spicy. Inhale, chair. And exhale, fold over the legs. Take a cycle of breath. Halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, chaturanga to up dog or all the way to your belly to cobra. Gentle engagement of the glutes, open the chest as you breathe in. Draw the belly to the back of the spine as you exhale to down dog. Few cycles of breath. You can always exhale out of the mouth, cleansing breath whenever you need. You can also take rest whenever you need. From here, we're going to move like honey. Rather than moving habitually, see if you can invite in more presence into your practice, into your moment. So the inhale, your right leg will lift. Exhale, knee towards your chest, shift it forward, round, curl in. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step the right foot through, keep the back leg lengthened. Maybe hands on blocks here for this sequence. Inhale, chest lifts off the thigh, heart comes forward. Exhale, modified pyramid, right leg extends, fold over the leg. The left heel is lifted. Inhale, right knee bends, open the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, we'll hold here for a few breaths. Right hip is drawing back, fold over the right leg. And we'll re-bend the right knee, blocks forward. Maybe you scoot your back foot in a little bit for stability. High lunge as you breathe in. Now hands are gonna come into prayer. We'll invite in, in this balance sequence. Hips are gonna stay squared the whole time. Find a point to focus on with your gaze. And you're gonna bring your torso forward. Chest stays open. Belly lifted. Weight comes into your right foot and we're preparing for warrior three. So you're gonna let the toes drag, and then when you feel stable, let that left leg lift. Doesn't need to go super high. Hips closed, left foot flexed. You can keep your right knee bent the whole time for this whole sequence if you need. Now on the inhale, we're gonna bend the left knee. We're gonna to come to stand without letting that left foot touch the ground, flexing your foot, knee comes forward. Exhale, left heel kicks forward, engage your quad. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, warrior three. So one breath per movement. If this is too fast, take it at your own pace. 
Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, kick it forward. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, warrior three. One more time, inhale, come to stand. Exhale, kick it forward. Inhale, bend. Exhale, warrior three, for a moment. Bend your right knee, a big step back, high lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slice it open, warrior two. Left heel draws down, left toes fan out, tailbone lengthening down. When your inhale arrives, lengthen your right leg, gather your palms right into your heart space, breathing in. Exhale, push back out, warrior two. Make this about your breath, becoming super present. Inhale, draw it in right in front of your heart space. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, in. Exhale, out. One more, inhale in. Exhale out, warrior two. Flip your right palm, reverse the warrior side stretch. Come back to warrior two and lengthen your right leg. Turn your right toes to face the left edge of your mat. And then left heel draws in, left toes face the back of your mat. Preparing for triangle, you're facing the back. You can walk your back foot in a little bit for more stability. Start to hinge toward the back of your mat, which is now your front. Left hand to the shin or to the quad, doesn't matter how low you go, or to the block. Right arm to the sky. Left hip is drawing in, so you're not sticking your bum out. Engage the glutes. And then shoulders softened, open the chest. Take your right hand to your right hip and we'll prepare for half moon. So gaze comes down, bend your left knee, fingertips forward or on a block. Try to use your strength rather than momentum. Weight comes into the left foot, right leg lifts, right foot is flexed. So again, we're engaging the glutes. So draw that left glute into the midline, stabilize your pelvis, same shape as triangle, but the legs lifted. Right arm floats to the sky, possibly and if your balance is strong today, every day is different. Maybe you work on practicing, smoothing out any involuntary movements or twitches. You're gonna bend your left knee, a nice silent and gentle step back, warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes in, back to face the left edge of your mat. And then once you're there, turn your heels in so your toes are out. And you're gonna bend your knees so they're tracking in line with your toes. As if you're sliding down a wall, engaging your bum, outer thighs engaged. So strong base. Take your hands and interlace them behind you. Extend the elbows, open the chest. So you're super contained. And we're just gonna start to pulse. Pulse, pulse. So you're grounding down through the heels. Relax the toes. Try not to hold the breath. Just starting to work that strength. So just as much as we open, we gotta strengthen to stabilize. So we wanna have our practice for forever. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Extend your legs. Turn the toes forward, heels behind. Open the chest as you breathe in. As you exhale, start to fold over the legs. Now if it's not working with your hands interlaced, you can always take your hands down to the ground or blocks. So you choose your path. Keep integrity in the legs. Bring the breath all the way into the base of the spine and into the groin.
Now if your hands are interlaced, gently release them to the ground. We'll come onto the fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold. Bring your hands to your waist. We're going to inhale up with strong legs and a flat back all the way rise. Exhale, right heel draws in, right toes forward, back to warrior two. On your exhale, you're going to cartwheel the hands down to frame your right foot, all ten toes forward. Twist, right arm opens up. Option one. Option two, outer edge of your left foot, right toes out to the side. Option three, side plank. Option four, if wild things in your practice, plant your right foot down, extend the left leg, and then lifting your hips, opening the chest, stay safe in your body. If you're in wild thing, come through center plank, or side plank, and then we'll all meet in center plank. Take a flow here, or if you need rest, just go back to down dog, possibly child's pose, listening to what would serve you the best. Big breath in and down dog, and exhale it out. And walk your hands to the back of your mat. Take your feet wide, toes out, heels in. Sit in your squat, malasana. You're welcome to sit on a block here. Knees tracking in line with the toes, hands in prayer, triceps, the inside of the legs here. Find a long line from your root all the way through to the crown of the head. Releasing your hands down, lift your sit bones up, and heel toe your feet underneath your hips. Fold. Walk your hands back to your down dog. And from here, let's inhale the left leg. Inhale, nice and smooth. Exhale, knee in, draw the belly in, round. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot through between the hands, back leg stays lengthened. Now from here, high lunge when you feel steady. Exhale, hands to heart center. You can walk your back foot in a bit if you need more stability. Doing that stabilizing, balancing sequence. So find your steady gaze. Tap into the stability of your breath. Bring your weight into your left foot. Keep drawing the belly in, ground down through the left heel. And then maybe the toes lift to warrior three. Hips stay closed. On the inhale, you're gonna take that right knee and bend it, come to stand. Right foot is flexed. Exhale, extend the right heel forward. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lift, stand. Exhale, kick forward. Inhale, bend. Exhale, warrior three. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick forward. Inhale, bend. Exhale, pause in warrior three just for a moment. And then we'll take a big step back, high lunge, reach the arms up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Left knee tracks in line with second and third toe. On your inhale, extend the left leg, gather the palms right in front of the heart space. Feel that energy and presence in the heart. Exhale, warrior two, push it out. Inhale, gather it in. Feeling the pull of the palms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale in. Exhale up. Last one in. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior.
back to warrior two, extend your left leg, turn your left toes to face the right side of your mat, and then turn your right heel in and turn the right toes to the back of your mat. Adjust for your triangle pose, and then we'll start to reach the back, keeping the right side body lifted, right hand to your shin, maybe the quad, or a block, left arm extends, opening the chest, and then is your left hand in line with your nose here, so we're not letting it just fly out here. We're working on that containment. Draw that right glute in toward the midline. Your legs are supporting you as you find freedom in the spine. Take your left hand to your left hip. Bend your right knee, gaze down, preparing for half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Fingertips to the block or the ground, weight into your right foot, left leg extends. Draw the right glute in toward the midline, stabilize. Maybe left palm reaches up, smooth out the breath. One steady point with your eyes. Save some juice, your right knee will bend. Nice, silent, graceful step back. Warrior two. Extend your right leg. Take your right toes to face the right edge of your mat. And then we'll go right to the other side. Left heel draws in, left toes forward. Warrior two, open your stance. When your next exhale arrives, cartwheel your hands down, frame your left foot. Twist, right hand down, left arm opens. Option one. Option two, outer edge of your right foot. Heel toe your left foot down a few inches, lifting the hips. Option three, side plank. Option four, wild thing. Plant your left foot down. Strong base. As you lift the hips, maybe the chest, you can always take your hand to the back of your neck to support. If you are in wild thing, come through side plank and we'll all meet in center plank. Take a flow, last flow to cleanse it out. Exhale, chaturanga, create your shelf so you're not dipping lower than the shoulders. Point your toes, engage the glutes, chest open as you breathe in. Exhale back, downward dog. Lift the heels, gently come onto the knees. And we're gonna invite in Virasana. So if you have tender knees, I would recommend using a block or a bolster to bring between the, the thighs, if it's a bolster between the legs, I mean, on the ground. Or you take a block and bring it just in between your ankles. You can always pad up the blanket or the mat with a blanket. If you're on the block, sitting on your block and let your heels just come to the outside of your thighs here. You can open up the knees a little bit. If you're not on a block, same thing. Just make sure the, thigh, the heels are just on the outside of the thighs. Now this may be a lot for you and you can stay right here. If you want to go a little further, make sure your knees are grounding down toward the mat. You can start to take your hands back. I like to readjust my hips while lift. I'll lengthen my tailbone down and readjust here. This may be enough for you today. If you want a little more, maybe you come onto your forearms, but if your knees start to lift, you've gone too far. If you feel compression or sharp pain in your low back, you've gone too far. Just remember, it is a process, it's a journey. Like I said earlier, we wanna have this practice for a long time. If you're really open and you're not on a block and you wanna come all the way down, you're welcome to come all the way down and then perhaps taking your hands above your head, inviting in a gentle back bend. So you choose your path. We have about six to seven breaths.
Now if you're completely on your back, with so much care, bring yourself back out incrementally. If you're on your forearms, we'll start to press into the hands. And we'll come back forward into down dog. Bring the circulation back into the knees. And then we'll prepare for our hip, <laughs> we'll prepare for our hip opener. So if uh, you like pigeon, you're welcome to come into pigeon. So right leg will rise, right knee to the outside of the right wrist, right ankle towards the left. If pigeon is not for you, you can come completely onto your right bum into deer pose. So you can draw that left knee out to the side and bring your right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Right foot is flexed. This is deer pose. It's softer on the knee. You can just fold forward or fold toward that foot that's flexed. You can use your blocks to help you bring the floor to you. Choosing your shape, your hip opener. You can always come onto your back and take figure four as well. We have about 10 breaths here in whichever hip opener you've chosen. And now we'll start to bring ourselves back up. If you're on your back in a hip opener, just go to the other side. If you're in pigeon or deer, we'll come back to down dog. And other side, left leg will rise. Left knee to left wrist, left ankle towards the right. If you're coming into pigeon, just slide that back leg back, leveling off your hips, squaring them off. If you're in deer, your left bum comes completely down, your right knee bends out to the right, left ankle flex, left ankle strong, and then find the fold. You can always try and play with both over time in your practice. I find they both subtly stretch different areas. See if you can breathe into any of the areas that feel dense or heavy. Finding the courage to move through it rather than resisting and trying to go around it. And we'll start to prepare coming out of our shape. Come onto your left bum. If you're not already, swing your right leg forward. If you're on your back, you can stay down. So we're just gonna roll down. Scoot yourself up a bit on your mat. Plant your feet onto the ground. If you have a block, bring it into your hands, knees bent. Palm on each side of your block. We're gonna slowly roll down, something we've been working with. Curl the tailbone forward and incrementally lowering down 
So try not to skip the low back. Drawing in, 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 in. Nice and slow, feet stay planted. When you need to release, release. So feeling the burn rather than trying to rush through it. All the way down. Now for your inversion, if you're dying to do shoulder stand, you can do that only if it continues and supports this grounded state. Otherwise, if you have a block, you can slide it underneath your tailbone, your sacrum, just above your glutes. If you don't have a block, that's fine. Just bend your knees. And then we'll extend the legs toward the sky, whether you're on a block or not. The ultimate restorative shape, restorative waterfall. So your hands, maybe they want to come onto your belly. You can keep them by the side, palms up or down. Maybe you want them overhead. We have about 10 breaths in your inversion. Perhaps closing the eyes. Feeling the weight of your sacrum on the block or on the ground. If you're in shoulder stand, starting to make your way out with care. And if you're in restorative waterfall, start to bend the knees, planting your feet down onto the ground. Heels close to your glutes, feet hip width distance. You can stay on a block here for a supported bridge. If you'd like to take a more active bridge, you can slide the block out, keep your hips lifted and interlace the hands and walk the shoulders in behind you. I'm going to stay in this supported bridge. If you're in your active bridge, release your hands and your shoulders. Slowly roll your hips down. If you're on a block, lift your hips up, take the block out, and lower yourself down. And we'll take the feet wide, arms into the T, pop, palms up, and windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Now we'll move into a twist. We're already set up for a wide-legged twist. If that's what you'd like to take, just keep your feet wide and let your knees fall to one side. If you prefer a different twist, you're welcome to stack the legs to one side. Any variation that you'd like to finish off your practice with. We'll take the twist, same variation you did on the other side. Come back to center and we're going to come up to a seat. So any way that is with the most, the least amount of effort, make your way up. 
And for our meditation, I invite you to sit up on something. So if you have a block or a bolster, great. You can even sit on a chair. You can also lean yourself against the wall or you can come onto your knees. So we want to be relaxed and as comfortable as we can be so that we're not distracted by how uncomfortable we are. So we can actually use the time to go in. So whichever shape you've taken, adjust. Find the connection of your sit bones to whatever is supporting you. Hands could be on the thighs, palms up or down. Take your shoulders up, back and around. Relax them, relax your elbows. So we have a tall spine, but you're inviting in a relaxed awareness. And align the crown of your head over the base of your spine, closing the eyes. Relax the energy behind your eyes. And invite in a few soft, open breaths, soft, open belly. So we've moved and stretched, we've strengthened all to find the liberty and the freedom to be still in meditation. And one thing that we always have to face in this life is change. So the seasons, seasons change, the days change, our minds and our bodies change, our moods change, and the world is always changing. And all of this change can create a certain level of uncertainty and at a deeper level, fear. And whether we look inside or outside, we are always amidst transitions. And so meditation allows us to touch something that isn't changing. So that deeper part of ourselves, that's our essence and our source. And through time, as we become more aware and connected to this deeper part of ourselves, it allows us to be less fearful and more joyful and spontaneous, living life as fully as possible, unlocking joy and creativity and confidence, trust in ourselves and clarity. So inviting in here gentle and comfortable breaths in and out through the nose. Feeling the breath traveling along the nostrils. And as you consciously shape your breath, sense that you are linking your breath to your mind and to your body. A few more rounds of breath like this. Now allow the breath to become involuntary so you're no longer shaping the breath. Allowing it to become more silent and smooth and effortless. 
connecting to that deeper part of yourself that is constant, that is always there, behind all of the fluctuations. There is this place within you that is your essence and your well and your source. you're welcome to stay in meditation for the rest of your practice if you'd like to take Shavasana now is the time without breaking your grounded state you can lay yourself down into Shavasana Noticing what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. And know that you always, always have access to this. You can slowly start to deepen your breath.
if you're on your back, you can start to invite in some movement back into your body, moving your hands, your ankles, perhaps bringing your arms up overhead for a big stretch, deepening your breath. Bring your knees in toward you. Rolling to one side. And eventually making your way back upright to a seat. And we'll meet with our palms touching right in front of our heart space, slight bow of the chin. Take these next few moments with yourself, enjoying your presence, your breath, noticing what you've cultivated, what has shifted and what may haven't has shifted. And connecting to that deeper part of yourself that is constant. Know that that is always there for you. It is always accessible. Coming back to any intention that you may have set in the beginning of practice. And I invite you to take what you've cultivated on your mat and take it with you as you step off of your mat and into the world as your yoga practice continues into everything that you do. Thank you so much for your trust and for your support. From my heart to yours, namaste.